Welcome to the Portfolio Construction and Risk Management Crowdfunding Relaunch. This video will give you all the information needed about the crowdfunding and collect relevant resources. So first of all, the book is about the next generation investment management framework. It's centered around a Monte Carlo simulation that we collect into a matrix called R and associated joint scenario probability vectors. So this is much more general than just a mean vector and a covariance matrix because this is fully general uh, Monte Carlo distributions. The good thing is also that we can apply very, very sophisticated uh, market views and stress testing to these uh, fully general distribution by using the method that is called entropy pooling. Once we have performed the simulation and done the stress testing, we focus on analyzing the portfolio's tail risks as measured by the CVAR. So again, we do not reduce our analysis just to mean and variance. You can get a deeper introduction to this framework uh, by watching the video above, uh, so I'm not going to repeat it uh, in this video. So in relation to the crowdfunding, uh, you can get access to it by using this uh, Indiegogo link, which has this CRM book uh, short name. If you want to see the information about the initial crowdfunding, you can use the same short name, but don't just add in it. So basically, uh, I updated some uh, technicalities, but otherwise everything remains uh, the same. Uh, and here uh, I also set <laughs> the crowdfunding target uh, artificially low, such that the campaign uh, can continue indefinitely after uh, its deadline. You can also go in uh, and see the information about the previous campaign, uh, about uh, how many people contributed. So now, uh, uh, 45 people uh, have access to the book and of course all these contributions are recorded and they will uh, count uh, when determining the top 10 um, yeah when the crowdfunding campaign is done of people who will get access to try out this system uh, with institutional grade implementation and that's also a point that I want to make is that um, the earlier you contribute to the crowdfunding, well, the more you have an advantage when you compete uh, for the top 10 spots. All right, let's just go through how you get access to the book. So basically you have uh, different uh, opportunities and uh, the, the cheapest one is just to get access to the repository, but you can also uh, have these other um, significant contributor perks where uh, you will get some acknowledgement uh, in the preface of the book. Um, yeah, but let's just go through it. Here uh, you can say pick perk or uh, you can also make a donation. If you make a donation of 15 or more euros, you will automatically uh, get access to the book. So basically here uh, I go in and say uh, choose this one. It costs uh, 15 euros. I say proceed to check out. And then I fill out my details about the name and the email and uh, the credit card. So one thing that you notice about this platform is that it automatically adds uh, some fees. This is not something that, that I ask for and it's also something that I asked them to remove. But uh, they say that that's not possible. But you can remove it yourself by just saying other amount. Uh, and I would say that of course, if you want to contribute more than these 15 uh, euros, uh, then, then you are very welcome. <laughs> but uh, I think the, the platform takes enough fees, so contribute it to the book uh, instead of uh, the platform, uh, if you ask me. All right, but here you will fill out your details and then uh, you will receive an email of how you can get access uh, to this uh, repository. So. Let's just go through what are the benefits uh, for you as a contributor. So first of all, you will get access to the book and the Python code uh, where you also will have some opportunities to ask me questions and uh, I can give you detailed answers. Of course, also, if you have some feedback for how to improve the book, uh, we can incorporate that uh, yeah, with your perspectives. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite interested in that. And then finally, as I mentioned before, if you happen to be among the top 10 uh, contributors, then once the book is done, you will get three months access to institutional grade implementation of the framework so that you can really test out uh, your uh, understanding. All right. So if you want to have a sneak peek into the book, uh, you can get it on this SSRN link. 
Uh, if you want to stay updated on the book, uh, I encourage you to follow the Portfolio Construction Risk Management Substack. I think this is the best platform uh, for sharing deeper uh, quantitative investment management content. So I really encourage you to, to follow that one. But of course, you can also follow me on, on LinkedIn uh, if you prefer that, where I also post uh, these updates. Okay. So let's just examine the current status of the book. And basically, once you contribute the campaign, you will get access to this private repository where currently there are 45 people uh, who have access. And here you can see that you have the book and uh, you have the code. So um, in the code, there are many, many different, uh, I, I think there are close to 20 uh, Jupyter notebooks uh, that supplements uh, the material that you have in the book. So it's a very integrated part of how you read uh, this book. You read the book first and then you look at the code. Uh, it's, it's the combined experience that makes it really um, meaningful. So uh, when you look at the book, uh, currently the first chapter is done. Uh, so this is just an introduction to the uh, fundamental perspectives uh, of, of the framework. And uh, then um, chapter five about market views and stress testing which is very very important and goes through all of the details uh, about entropy pooling um, is also done um, and then uh, about portfolio optimization where we focus on CVAR, parameter uncertainty and uh, optimization of derivatives uh, with um, yeah, underlying uh, parameter uncertainty and, and things like that. There's a lot of new material <laughs> in, in these uh, chapters. Then finally, parts of chapter seven are also done on general risk and return analysis, and then some perspective on market views and stress testing, and some uh, examples of why uh, sequential entry pooling is better than the usual one, and why it's, it's actually necessary in, in some cases uh, in order to you, for you to solve uh, interesting uh, problems. Then I am um, writing um, currently chapter three uh, about uh, market simulation, where soon uh, there will be new material about uh, time and state dependent resampling. Uh, with this method that I'm quite excited about uh, sharing. All right, so uh, this was it. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, you are of course very welcome uh, to reach out to me uh, using some of these resources. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I hope uh, to, to see you as a, <laughs> as a reader of, of the book and in the repository.